What's up guys, Connor Wells here, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. If you're new around here, do hit that subscribe button and turn notification bells on. Really trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the month, so that would really, really help me out. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what I'm going to be putting in my camera bag, my tech bag, and my carry-on bag when I go to Berlin in a few days, so let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys, thank you very much for joining me for another video, I really do appreciate it, glad to see you all here. Now in a few days I'm going to be making my first little solo trip on my own, um, obviously I've travelled around the UK on my own um, with gigs and, and music and stuff, but this is my first time actually going to a different country on my own without without my other half Vicky. So. It's going to be a new experience, I'm really excited, a little bit nervous travelling on my own because uh, she's super organised and I'm super not, but it's going to be fun and I'm really really looking forward to it. So I thought I'd make a little video breaking down everything which I'm going to be taking with me, everything that's going to be going in my camera bag, um, everything that's going into my cabin bag or hold bag depending on where they allow me to put it. So let's jump into the first thing and that's the most important thing, we'll go with the camera bag. <sighs> Right, so this is my camera bag. This is uh, made by a company called Sandstrom. Everything that I mentioned in the bag and case-wise, gear-wise, will be in the description below, so do check that out. It doesn't look too much like a tech bag, so I'm, I'm really pleased with that because you don't want to be sort of walking around the country like on your own with like an obvious standout bag that looks like you're carrying a thousand pounds worth of gear. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. It doesn't look too much like a tech bag. It's uh, nice and breathable, nice thick pads as well, so I don't get backache. The only thing that I would like this case to have is um, over the front chest plates. Um, that that would be really nice. I can clip it on a little bit more security. Um, so let's break down the back. So it's got sort of three main compartments. So this little compartment at the front, this is where I keep all of my. This is my filter case. A few of them I don't actually need because yeah, um, buying a new camera. There's a lot of them that won't actually fit my new Canon M50. All of these are pretty much MD filters except for one, which is a UV filter. These are all made by a company called Gob. Gobi, I, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, highly recommend them. They're really, really good. And yeah, that just slips in the front. Here, it's nice and padded, so it doesn't matter if it gets knocked or anything. Second compartment. Ooh, slidey, slidey. Right. This is where I keep most of my you know, main important things. Um, so let's uh, open it up. So obviously if I'm gonna be traveling, I need a passport, keep that in a nice little case. Got this from Primark. Um, I think it was in like a, a Christmas present. Um, but yeah, keep that in there. I'm not gonna show you because my passport photo is grim. Obviously, if you're gonna be traveling, you need a wallet and a good secure wallet. This is a really, really great wallet. I can't remember the company that make it, but you can find them all over the place. I got it from a shop called Menkind. And it's, it's a great, really, really great wallet because obviously you can feature some cash in there. Um, and also where you feature your cards, it just slides up like this. Have a look. How cool is that? And you just sort of slide out, slide in. Love it, really, really cool. And also it stops um, people doing contactless on your cards without you knowing it's got some sort of blocker on, on the little metal case, which I think is a really, really good idea. Next, um, I take a few pens with me. You never know when you might need a Sharpie, so I take a few Sharpies with me, because yeah, you never know. Medicine, these are like my go-to medicine. This is my acid reflux ones, because I get really, really bad acid reflux, and that is the worst feeling in the world when that starts to strike. And as you can probably tell by my nose, I'm very nasally, uh, so I've got some sort of hay fever medicine. One of the most important things I take is my hard drive. This is a one terabyte lacy hard drive featuring a long hair sticker, because uh, got to represent the long hair. And it's really, really great. It's, it's got a really, really nice orange sort of tough shell and shockproof, so you could like run it over the car and it'll be fine. So really, really rate uh, this. This is really, really cool. Next up is my SD card case. Now this is awesome. You can run this over with the car apparently as well, and it's also waterproof. Um, so it's sort of like a little mini Pelican case. This is made by a company called B-Way. Really, really recommend it. You can fit six SD cards in there. Um, so those are all the ones that I've got at the moment. Because I only shoot 1080p, I don't need too much space, which is why I've only gone with the one terabyte uh, size hard drive. So they all just sort of slip in there. I've got one more, which is actually in the camera. So 
that will go in there at some point as well. Right, next out of the bag, I've got some battery packs. This one is made by a company called XTorm. You can plug two devices in them and charge them. It's okay, you get about a charge and a half um, out of it, it's, it's, all, it's all right. And this one is literally a backup one for it. This one is made by Kodak, you get about two charges out of this. They're not the best, I do need to buy a, a new one, a slightly larger one, but these ones don't take up too much space, so they work for now. And next out of the bag, this is uh, just a little multi-tool. Um, this is just a basic sort of Swiss Army knife. It's got a few knives knives on there, um, which is cool, you never know when you might uh, need to, you know, get something open. It's got a bottle opener, um, a Phillips flathead as well, because, you know, I want to tighten, make sure all my uh, switch plates are all on my camera nice and tight, I don't want them falling off. Um, it's got some tweezers and a toothpick as well, because you never know when you might need a little Swiss Army knife. Next up, this is what really, uh, is really, really cool. Um, I was so pleased when I found this. Um, let's move this out of the way. So, scrolling through Amazon, I needed something that would organise my tech a little bit more, my, my wires and, and everything else that I need to take, my batteries as well and this is by a company called Bagsmart really really recommend that none of this stuff is, is sponsored but if Bagsmart do see this and want to sponsor me that would be great this is a really cool bag as you can see it's like really really thin um, love it really really cool so let's get this open and show you guys what is inside so you've got a few pouches here so you could fit three SD cards here. Uh, I probably wouldn't put them in there just because they're rubber. It's a little bit flimsy and I've got this hard case as well. Um, so up here, I keep two extra batteries for my Canon M50. I figured out it's not got the best battery life so I've got two extra batteries for the Canon M50. I've got a US um, plug adapter for my MacBook or iPhone charger. A uh, tiny little diddy thing. Um, so if I ever go back to America again, that will live in there. I've got the lens cap and the body um, cap for my Canon M50 as well. They uh, go together and make a nice little pot, which is really cool. It looks like a little hockey puck. So really, really cool. Uh, next, I've got uh, the charging cable which is still uh, unopened from my iPhone uh, XS Max. In here is, I'm not going to get these out because they're nice and neatly folded, pair of headphones, standard ones, come with the iPhones, I've got a micro USB cable and a few polished cloths as well and also a nice little padlock for my uh, suitcase or my camera bag, whatever I choose to put it on. That finishes up the front portion of my camera bag. Let's get into the, the main big bit, the big bulk. So I've got to put all this away. I had it so neat and, and tidy before this video and, and now I've got to put it all away. We're getting somewhere. Right, now to the main portion of the bag. Da -da -da. Here we go, right. So, as you can see, it is a nice and organized, really, really great camera bag. Here is a laptop um, holding bit. So this is my 2015 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro. It is great. I obviously keep the one terabyte hard drive plugged in at all times because uh, I need to import the footage onto it somehow. Next, we go into camera gear. So this is really cool. I've mentioned this before. This is my live streaming camera. It's by a company called Mevo. It's made by Livestream. Really, really great uh, device. Um, Love it, it tracks your face, follows and cuts everywhere, really, really cool. I don't use it too much, I should get into YouTube Live a little bit more, but I just haven't found the time yet. Next is a little portable speaker. I think this is really cool, this is the JBL Clip 2. As you can see, you can clip it onto your camera bag or your belt buckle, really, really great idea. Um, it's waterproof as well, which I think is amazing. I've been taking this on holidays with me. I've been literally letting it float in the pool and play music, I think this is absolutely amazing. And it also comes with a jack lead if you have got a phone with a jack lead. Next, I've got a dual uh, camera battery charger. This is for my Canon M50. Um, really, really cool. Got this for about a fiver on Amazon. And obviously, I've got the main one that came with the camera, which um, is, yes, quite a little bit bigger. Next, this thing. Hate, 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 hate this thing. Oh, I cannot wait till I get a switch pod. This is my Joby Gorilla Pod. Um, 1k kit uh, what can I say it's it's the bane of my life uh, the ball head is great it, it, you know it doesn't wobble it's got the quick release plate which is fine uh, works really well but it's just the legs they are absolutely awful like look at that they pull apart so easily um, so I've got a switch pod uh, coming next month which I'm really really excited to use this thing will be thrown 
out the wall, out the window, on a train track, out to sea, off a boat, and I um, just never want to see it again. Joby Gorilla Pops. I've been having so much trouble with this Rode Video Mic Pro. Um, so I invested in a Rode Video Micro for vlogging. As I mentioned in my last video, this thing, the audio will be fine and then it will just drop and just die and just sound like there's a mic plugged in but the mic's not turned on. It is so annoying, it's been a nightmare recording this video. It's up there on a boom pole at the moment, um, but this is what I'll be using to vlog. Uh, you don't need to worry about battery life, as soon as you turn the camera on, this thing turns on. Um, it, it sounds really good, I'm really impressed with the audio of it, it's, um, it's cute as well, it looks really cute. It's like a little and it came with a dead cat, so I'm happy. The camera, obviously I'm shooting on the Canon M50, uh, which is my first 4K mirrorless camera by Canon. I'm really, really excited. I love this camera so much. That will just fit in there, and I'm shooting with a 15 to 45 mil lens. That's the kit lens that came with it. That took a while to pack away. Right, the next thing we'll go through is, obviously, the suitcase. Now, I'm flying with EasyJet, so I'm not entirely sure whether they will let me take my camera bag and my cabin bag it up in the cabin with me to the overhead. Uh, they usually let you do that on longer flights. So I bought a new suitcase which is a little bit more rugged. Uh, it's got a hard shell on it, um, just in case I do have to put it in the hold. So this is said suitcase. As you can see, it's a, it's a tiny, diddy little thing. It's nice and sturdy. So if I do need to put any camera gear in there, um, I'll try not to, but you know, if I need to put, you know, like a tripod or, or something else in there, um, I don't need to worry about it being um, broken or anything because it's, it's quite sturdy. Uh, let's get it open. As you can see, it's got a nice little pouch to put your clothes in there. It's got a little mesh zip pocket thing there as well. Another tiny little one and um, oh, a long hair's hat. What's, uh, what's that doing in there? Um, off we go. So yeah, this will do me fine. I just need to find um, a tripod to fit in here as well because um, I'm lacking a travel tripod. So what I'm basically going to be putting in here is my clothes, um, travel adapters, so a, a little life hack here, a little travel hack, which I figured out um, my last holiday. You don't need to buy more than one travel adapter. Hear me out. So what I do is I buy the one travel adapter, whether it be US or Europe, mostly Europe. So I'll bring a Europe travel adapter and an extension lead. It may take up a little bit more space, but trust me, you only need the one. And if you've got a great extension lead, you've got four more plugs and it's it's a brilliant little hack that I figured out. You can pick up an extension lead from your local shop for about six, seven pounds, depending on how many plugs it features in it, um, instead of paying seven pounds for each travel adapter. So. Remember that, that's what I was doing. So I was charging my phone, my camera, my laptop, and other devices all at the same time. And they were charging at great speed as well. It didn't slow it down, so yeah, remember that. I need a decent pair of sunglasses. These are the Let It Ride sunglasses by a company called Knockaround. Got these in San Diego. Really, really great pair, of, solid pair of sunglasses. So always, uh, always remember them. And uh, they come with this cool case as well. So big up Knockaround amazing company. One more thing that I will be bringing with me is these. These are a new purchase the other day. I got these for £12 from Sainsbury's. These are um, by a company called Go Travel. Uh, these are three different sized packing cubes. Really, really cool. So it will be much easier to fold my clothes in or roll, depending on how much clothes I've got. Um, so yeah, that will help me organise things a little bit more. Um, I can put an extra pair of shoes in there, uh, socks, everything which I need. Um, and it will keep it nice and clean and safe. So that is pretty much everything that I'm going to be taking to Berlin with me. I'm not going to be taking any lighting equipment or my boom pole, which um, obviously is out of view now. Um, since it's mostly going to be vlogging, um, I might shoot a um, react and review video on the Friday um, before I leave. So keep your eyes posted for that. But I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to go to Berlin. It's my favorite place in the world, and it's gonna be an adventure. It's my first time traveling um, to a different country by myself, so um, that's quite a nerve wracking. Let me know any sort of travel packing tips you guys have got, or if you've been to Berlin, let me know where I should go, because yeah, I wanna get them, I wanna make the most out of it. I'm gonna sign off here, have a great rest of the day guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, let me know what you think in the comments below, and smash that subscribe button as well. It'd be really, really appreciated. It'd be lovely to have you on board with the Connor Wells channel. Have a great rest of the day guys, and I'll catch up with you all soon. Peace.